I don't know how much you guys have seen the news about Kremlin tweeting Scripple poisoning for the new year they made like funny tweets ridiculing this poisoning I don't know how much you're familiar with that go ahead and Google Kremlin tweets for new year they ridicule Scripple's death poisoning the last thing I would want to see is being ridiculed by the Kremlin myself Warsaw insisted on my making deal with these people eventually that these people would do the stuff like this so they would come forward with and prove that I'm not insane they would in other words declare themselves that they did stuff like this Donald Trump personally got in my face under MK Ultra and have asked these people to do a variety of things a variety of crimes against me can you do this and you're gonna do this can you do this then what he would do this was repeated stuff he would add he would gesture me uh, he would uh, demand feedback from me under MK Ultra with other Americans if anything ever so we got we have a deal if anything ever happens if anything ever happens uh, to any of these families if anything ever happens to any of these families then it's gonna be your turn they wanted to get from me complete obligation to the KGB they wanted to get from me like total devotion to the KGB I would be I would become really nothing more than a puppet of the KGB here in Poland and a puppet of crime Gambino the worst things you possibly could brought to the Poland this was anticipated from me um, are you freaking kidding me uh, Russians organized the whole effing thing they had the control over the whole thing uh, how the F they would not know about it. Donald Trump is completely in bed with the Russian people and this concerns FBI and Central Intelligence Agency I know you're watching this I don't know what you're gonna do about this information uh, how you gonna plan on how do you what are you gonna do with this impeachment in the US how you're gonna see is this you're gonna make this you're gonna come forward with this thing what is it you're gonna hush this what are you gonna do this is a total disgrace uh, you rate sane people is insane you drive them insane you torture them into insanity you compel them you ruin their life I'm 47 now because of you you have conditioned this kind of stuff and then you would go and condition some more and create this kind of stuff for the sake of Russia uh, I don't know if things can look worse for the United States of America than this this president is disgrace to the US to the world to anything that humanity stands for hear a lot of laughing down there it's a lot of um, it's a misery it's a it's a misery loves company these people are the worst of the worst that this world have ever seen they represent the worst of the worst Americans claim that I'm gonna have to cooperate with the Russians that I'm gonna have to cooperate it was all the time it was but you're gonna have to cooperate with them you're gonna have to cooperate with them you're gonna have to cooperate with them uh, no matter what you're gonna do you're gonna have to cooperate with them because the thing is going to be done in a such a way that you're not going to be able to prove you're not going to be able to say anything that uh, you know it's more than Russians basically it's more than Russians that stand behind the Russians Donald Trump team Donald Trump people that they were completely obligated to this relationship with the Russia uh, which is extremely twisted for everybody uh, including domestic US issues 
So, this is very important stuff to understand. Donald Trump was the one who insisted. He was like, it was people and it, it, it was like in front of him. It was like, they talked to him what they're going to do and it was uh, asking me if I can handle, can you handle this? Can you handle this? Can you handle this? And it was like, it's going to be a done deal. It's going to be a done deal. And then a condition, if anything is going to happen, if anything is going to happen to any of these people ever, if anything, do you hear, do you hear if anything is ever going to happen to these people and so on. So they got covered, they covered themselves from all possible sides. They got all kinds of gimmicks and stuff, logic that it would compel you to be silent about. Logic that would make you tolerate abuse, be quiet about it. It's been done for you. It's been done to actually prove that you're not insane. We're going to do all this stuff to you. Then we're going to come forward with it. We're going to admit with it. And you're going to be released of all the bullshit they have done to you in Slovenia and so on. So that's how that works. Slovenia is uh, Kaliningrad number two. Uh, if you don't believe me, go there and try see. And you're going to see how you feel about that stuff. Nothing in this whole thing, nothing in this whole case, the whole scenario they have created would suggest uh, that, according to the plain logic, that anybody did anything here for me that would be, that would benefit me other than Polish people. Polish people sacrificed. But when it comes to Donald Trump's team, when it comes to the Russians, when it comes to these Chechens, these are the worst people in the world. This is the worst that, that it can offer to the world. From pedophilia to the slave, human slave trade and so on, this is what these people can offer. This is a conglomerate, 23 families together work like a mafia, like in Italy when you have families, they are together like this. That's exactly how these people work. And they have a support of the KGB who believes they would establish themselves here in Poland uh, through the gimmicks like this. That's all I gotta say. Let this be part number two. Uh, let this be a message to these Chechen people. And again, I call Polish people uh, to come forward with this stuff. These are the same people that were here in 2004, 2005, 2006. The very same people. And some of them would occasionally appear here all the way to 2010. There are video recordings, there are audio recordings about my presence here in the past. Let me make myself clear. Just a moment. For the Polish people, see this thing here? This was the sweater that Polish government would give me. This one here. And it's the sweater actually that makes you look like really, really stupid. You can see here the US flag. You can see. Yeah. This was the sweater they had me wear when I was here in 2005, 2006. Uh, supposedly. If I recall the psychologists, Polish psychologists, because they would want me to make a deal with these people and making me look stupid since I have insulted so many of these good people here. Making me look stupid would make me more likely to get help from them. So here they are, they're using cars, but if you have audio video recordings, if you can get that uh, that would be very helpful. Again, this was the sweater. This is all the broken sweater. It's not good even for work, but it's good for this occasion. Thanks for watching this video. Where I got this sweater, don't ask. Thanks for watching this video. Today is January the 5th, 2019. From Grottingen near Roch in Poland. 
bye bye to all of you wherever you are take care of yourself